I need you to give me permission to host. I mean, share screen. screen that and okay awesome hi everyone welcome to our first strength education meeting we're going to go over types of education uh types of strength training recovery modalities and the difference between strength training aerobic training and conditioning so the first question is, what is strength? And strength is the ability to exert force at any given speed. And the best way to think about that is to think about gravity. Gravity is what holds us down to the floor, and that's a constant force that's pushing down on us. So we all already have strength because we have the strength to resist gravity. Because if we didn't have that strength, we would be pressed on and we're going about what not you shouldn't be measuring strength in your ability to lift a heavy weight you should be measuring your strength in your ability to move pain free your ability to move safely and frequently and strength should be measured in your ability to execute great technique when you move and those are three important things that I hold near and dear because it's not about the weight you move but about how you move how you feel when you're done moving and how how regularly you can move okay. oh too far okay so there's four different types of strength training people normally participate in and that would be bodybuilding when you think of bodybuilding think of arnold schwarzenegger those are isolated sections. You train them excessively to get nice size and definition in, in areas. Then you have powerlifting. Powerlifting is three movement types. The big three they call them, which is squat, deadlift, and bench press. And those three movements are done with a large amount of weight, gradually increasing until you can't lift the weight no more. And then we have Olympic weightlifting. And Olympic weightlifting is two types of movements called the snatch and the clean. And both of those movements, the goal is to get heavy weight up off of the floor as fast as possible. And then we have high intensity training. And I know all of these sound very strange right now. They sound intimidating. You're thinking to yourself, you can't do this. And that this is not what you signed up for, but let me show you this video to help ease you and show you that strength training is for everyone and anybody at any point of life. Oh, why is it going back? My name is Stephen Nemmer. I'm 62 years old. My first time with weightlifting was just after my 62nd birthday. And I have done Nautilus and those kind of machine weights before, but I've never done barbell lifting. Well, there was a very important influence in my life, and that was my wife, because she started at this gym one year ago. She's got a great video on this on reversing osteoporosis. So I've been hearing about the experience of coming to the gym and what she was doing and her progression and how it had strengthened her. And she just really liked the community of the people at the gym and the experience of it. Uh, does this stress me or hurt me? No. Um, and my wife had said, the same thing. It was surprising. She was expecting this to be hard on her knees, and it turned out not to be. I have to say, the people at the gym, working with Sean and Marvin, they are very, very particular about the form, and uh, they're very careful about uh, systematically increasing your weight, and I'm really surprised at uh, what was possible. I recall in particular when I started uh, six months ago, First time I did a squat, 
is with a um, 5kg bar. I think in today's session we're set to do 80kg with a squat. And I literally did not think it was ever possible to get up to that level. And steadily, 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 we were able to do it. And um, I look forward to it. Look forward to the gradual increase. Now, I can definitely uh, tell some changes. I'd say the biggest change is this sense of strength. You know, I'm not doing it for bodybuilding at all. I'm doing it for strengthening and overall health. And uh, it's, it's helped in a lot of ways. I think it helps with sleep quality and just literally a head to toe uh, good feeling. You know, there are a lot of... So I only showed two minutes of that video just to show everybody that at any age you can start strength training. I mentioned 62 years young he started strength training he, and it's for everyone and anyone as long as you're willing to take the challenge so the benefits of strength training are muscular muscular strength increases which is your muscles ability to execute the force we've been talking about you also have muscular endurance so as you strength train your muscles become more resistant to fatigue you can work out for longer periods of time now. We also see increases in muscular size. The muscles themselves will begin to get larger. We also have an increase in bone density, which is very important as we age because our bones slowly start to deteriorate. And if we can um, offset that by strength training, we're all gonna be benefited. And it also improves our metabolism. We're using more energy, so we're going to burn more calories that way. So aerobic training requires us to use large muscle groups and a large amount of oxygen for a prolonged period of time. Most of us know it as cardio. Examples of that would be brisk walking, running, cycling, and swimming. And the goal of aerobic training is to get that heart rate up but it's important to keep in mind that we need to listen to our body. We need to make sure we're very comfortable with the movements we're doing. And we don't want to overexceed ourselves by going too hard too quickly. We want to stay in the realm we're comfortable with and progress outwardly slowly. Now, conditioning is training an exercise or movement repeatedly to become efficient of it. Some examples are squatting every day to train your legs to get stronger because you want to get more efficient at that squat perhaps it's also doing push-ups and push-up variations training that upper body to create the ability to push yourself up so the goal of conditioning is to train the body but also to become more efficient at the movement by continuously doing it and it's important that we rest and recover recovery the best forms of recovery after a hard day are hydration food and sleep. We want to make sure we drink water because we're sweating constantly when we're working out. We want to replenish that water we lost. Food. Carbs, protein, fats, all very important after a good day of strength training. A majority of that, though, is going to come from carbs. That ability to recover, our muscles use sh sugars from the carbs to power themselves. So we need to replenish those stores so our muscles feel healthy again, so they can replenish themselves. And most importantly, sleep. A good night's sleep is one of the most overlooked things after training. You know, you got to get those solid eight hours at least, or six hours. Whatever you can get where you're not disturbed, solid REM cycles are so important to helping recovery. And lastly, the things you don't need to help you recover are fancy supplements, protein powders, cryo baths, all these new um, fashion recovery methods that are coming out. There's very little science to support that any of these things truly help our recovery. If anything, there's no proof that they will help you and the best forms of recovery are those that are tangible to you like sleep hydration food 
while these things are a luxury, they're not ne necessary. They might help you feel better in the short term, but in the long term, learning how to appropriately recover after long days of exercise is going to be what keeps you going the next day and the day after that. So now you may be asking yourself, where do I go from here? So from here, you want to try to implement the strength training two to three times a week, whether you're on our prep program, our foundation program, or our program, try to hit those two to three days that are laid out for you already. Use the accountability sheets to keep access, to keep track of your success, and watch and practice our strength and mobility videos. Both of those are gonna help you become more efficient at, at the movements you're doing. And lastly, you can join us on Facebook Live for our workouts. We go periodically. Uh, Jenny, what are the upcoming weeks or days? This week, we're Monday, Wednesday, Friday. The following week, we're going to stay Monday, Wednesday, Friday for the program as well, since we started phase one again for the program. And then next Tuesday, Thursday, we're going to be doing the foundation live. So as Jenny mentioned, we're going three days a week live on Facebook. And if you need that extra help and accountability, we'll be there to help everyone get their sweat on, make sure they're doing what they need to be doing and helping each other stay accountable. Does anybody have any questions? I think I might've gone through that too quickly. So feel free to uh, ask me to go back. For the Monday, Wednesday, what times? Any time of the day? Norma, we vary. So some students uh, are available to do the lives either at 9 a.m., 10 a.m., or 11 a.m. However, if you were to go on the Facebook page, the video is there forever. And so let's say you were okay. to go on later at 3 or 4 p.m. and you look at the Three Wins Fitness video feed, you'll see it, the videos pop up. Oh, perfect. Thank you. Got it. Any other questions from any of our participants? Okay, I haven't been on this. I got so confused and bombarded with other stuff in life that that calendar that Dr. Loy just said, um, I saw it probably an hour ago. That's all the classes you guys have for the month or throughout the 365 times and like there was a class I think this morning and I didn't know. I didn't check. Yeah, that so that, everything on the calendar is going to be reflective of what we have to offer, both um, on Facebook as well as Zoominars. So pretty much anything in all three wins, safe bet. If you don't know, you can uh, just go to the calendar. Um, and then any clarifications that you need relative to times or um, links or anything like that, um, if you do have a question, you can always uh, shoot an email to info at threewinsfitness.com and then okay. I can direct you accordingly. Um, or likewise, if you know a video isn't up or you think it should be up, um, again, you can just shoot, it, shoot us an email and we'll either verify that, it's, that, it's, that it is up there or that it's, uh, it's not yet up. Thank you. No problem. Any other questions from the group? Okay, at this time then, I think we, uh, Chris, are we all done with your uh, presentation? Yeah, I left room for a lot of questions, but it doesn't look like anybody has any, so I guess we can go into our uh, breakout rooms. Perfect. So I am right now sorting everyone through. There are a couple that have not yet um, changed their names, so, as I go through, um, just finish up the program, family. 
Okay, so uh, Jackie, which family are you with? You can either type it in the chat or unmute yourself. Jackie Nishimoto. One of our coaches know which group she's in. Program, perfect. And let's put her there. And then Agnes is in program. Uh, Dr. Lowe, you're in prep, right? Oh, your program today. Gotcha. Okay, and then Jesus and Yesenia does not look like we have anyone from El Camino. So which groups are you going to be going to? Program. Program. And then Jesus program. Okay. All right. So I'm going to open up the breakout rooms. Go ahead and accept and speak with your families. Craig, all good? Yeah, I'm trying to figure out how to show my face. Oh, uh, so on the bottom, are you on a computer or are you on a, a mobile device? Computer. So bottom left-hand corner, there's a uh, video icon. If you click on that. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Did you get the uh, invite to join the program or not yet? Um, I was too busy preoccupied. Let me see. Where would the invite be? Uh, let's see. I'll see it. Let's move you. So don't accept anything yet. Um, move you back over to program. Let's see. Did anything pop up on your screen? I think it did at one point and I accidentally closed it. <laughs> ah, okay. Let's do this. Uh, I don't know if there's a way. Uh, if you move your, your window, the Zoom window, to the side, so click the top bar and pull it down. Is there a, anywhere behind the... Oh, I see what you're saying. So if I go, is there anything behind it? Like minimize it? Yeah. It says when system value prop, no, just like opening the Zoom. Hmm, let's see if we can figure this I out. messed it up, sorry about that. Oh, you're fine. Uh, let's see, assign two, put it in. Okay, I'm gonna put you in the, oh. All right, now well, let's try this again. Move to, did you get anything now? You're on mute. Okay, I'm unmuted. Okay. <laughs> Let's see, let's go back to program. Did anything pop up now? Nope. You want me to try logging in again? Yeah, go ahead and log out and then hop back in. Okay, sorry about that. No, no worries. All good? Oh, my internet. Oh, it, it, it dropped yeah. you off? Yeah, that's why I, I came in really late. I do apologize. Oh, no worries. I have another participant. I'm waiting for him to get back in because uh, he missed. There he is. Uh, which uh, group are you with, Letty? Program. Program. All right. Did you get the invite? All right, perfect. How are we doing, Craig? Rosaline, are you there? 
Hello. Which, uh, which uh, program, which family are you with? We are all in the breakout rooms right now. Oh, okay. Um, the middle one. The foundation? Yeah. All right, let me put you in there. You'll have a pop-up, go ahead and accept it. All right, do you hear me? Yes. Did you get okay. the pop-up or not yet? Okay, now there's an invitation. There you so go, join. Go that one. Yeah. One leg and slightly bent, I can't. 